All right, we are going to talk about page 15 in Algebra 2, page 1130. This is more about logarithms. And we live in the 21st century, so I want you to have a calculator. Your calculator may be on your phone, if you have a phone. And um, if you use the calculator app, you want to make sure you're in scientific form, okay? We're going to do three problems together. I want you to punch the numbers in on your calculator because every calculator is just a little bit different. And I want to make sure you're getting the same answer that I'm getting so that when you go to you know, do the problems on the homework and you check your work, you should get the correct answers, okay? Um, here in the PACE on page 15, they go through a long process of using the charts in the back of the book and scientific notation and it's a very convoluted process. Um, it was very much what they had to do all the way through history up until um, calculators became widely available and unfortunately the paces were written before calculators were widely available and they have not been updated. Every other Algebra 2 and Advanced Math curriculum that I am aware of out there, and certainly the one that um, I have used the most, do not have students going through this process, okay? So I'm just gonna tell you this, I, I don't recommend. I mean, if you are a math geek and you want to study the method and see how it works, and to you this is kind of cool, you know, go for it. But um, this is not what you're gonna do if you go on to college or if you ever have to use this in real life, you are gonna use a calculator, all right? So let's learn how to correctly use the calculator to get the answer. And then I'm gonna have to tell you um, for this lesson about something you're gonna have to do when you go to score, okay? So hopefully I don't forget that little tip at the end of this lesson. All right, uh, step one, make sure you have it on and cleared make sure you are in deg mode and uh, that should be the standard standard mode now do you remember that the logarithm is the exponent okay so when we're trying to find the log here we're trying to find the exponent and do you remember what the base is if we don't have a base written then we assume that the base is 10 this would be 10 to what power would give me this number 759 all right so on my calculator i first hit log and then a parentheses pops up and then i plug in 759 hit enter and i get 2.88024177 okay <clears throat> let me open the uh, marker here we want four decimal places so I'm going to write down 2.8802. So the hardest part of the math is you have to round, okay? So you're going to round to four places. In this case, pretty simple to round to four places. Um, I'm giving you three problems that I made up. These are not in your homework, all right? But I want you to use your calculator. Make sure you got this answer, okay? If you didn't, you need to check your manual, check with a, a parent or teacher to find out how your calculator works. But you should get 2.8802 when you round that off. All right, let's try a bigger number, 2,357. So I'm gonna hit clear, log, 2357. Hit enter, and I get a long number, 3.37235953. Again, four decimal places, so 3.3723. Now, the next digit is five. So remember, I've got to stop here, so that means this will round up to four, and then we can just get rid of the five, okay? This is actually pretty easy. When you use a calculator, this is a lot easier. <clears throat> and like I said, this is not cheating. The method in the PACE is the uh, really old method that I don't think anybody uses anymore unless uh, they have not watched this video and they think that they have to use that method. <laughs> so you see, you're lucky, you know? You should say, thank you, Mr. Anger. All right, here we go. Uh, let's find the log of a decimal number 
log point zero 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 one five boom and I get negative three point eight two three nine okay so notice if it is a fraction or a decimal number then that means that my answer is going to be negative now here's the little trick I have to tell you about in the score key <clears throat> if you let's do plus 10 okay and that would give me 6.1761 okay by adding 10 in the score key this is the way they write the answer 6.1761 minus 10 and they leave the answer like that they don't solve that out to get the negative as the answer all right, so I guess that was a common practice back in the 60s and 70s, and that was just the way they did it. Um, here in the uh, 21st century, we can go ahead and do the math, subtract that, and get a negative answer. And that just reminds us that um, we have a decimal number, all right? So when you go to the score key and you have this number, if you just take your calculator, add 10 to that, see if you get this same number. Okay, or if you want to just take, um, you know, check the score key, or maybe your teacher or supervisor wants to do this, take this number, subtract 10, and just go ahead and write this answer into the score key so that you know that you have the right answer. Otherwise, you have to keep doing this mental math every time you score. They don't give you a lot of problems to do for this. Um, 10 problems here on the bottom of page 15. Shouldn't be too bad. We're going to talk about page 16 next. See you in a little bit.